Elephant and Castle is at the center of a regeneration plan that's going on that will drastically change the shape of the area in the next two to four years. Phase 1, which is due for completion in autumn 2016, will provide new, new homes for rent, leisure facilities and Sainsbury's supermarket, along with student, retail and restaurant accommodation. The plans for Phase 2, comprising a redevelopment of the Elephant and Castle shopping center, are in the early stages of consultation and design. The goal is to create a vibrant new town center incorporating retail, restaurant and associated commercial accommodation, as well as new homes and a new public square. What do you think about the regeneration program in Elephant and Castle? I think it's, it's, it's been long overdue, uh, but unfortunately I don't think they've, uh, they've made any provision for ordinary working, uh, working people. You not think that this regeneration will bring improvements in terms of un um, employment and work in it's, the area? It will bring employment, but I think mostly the property is for uh, uh, foreign investors. Uh, it's money coming into London. You know, it's uh, it's not really for for ordinary people. I don't know where postmen and nurses mm. are going to live. You know, in the future because these places are far too uh, expensive. It's going to bring a lot of inequalities uh, across the residents of the oh, area. Yes. It's a form of social cleansing. They're moving out to working class people have been moved off the Haygate estate. Working people. And it's wealthy people coming into the, uh, to the area. I'm sure it'll be good for the area, but uh, it's, I, I just don't know where people, ordinary people are going to live in London in the future. Well, how do you think will be the outcomes of this regeneration? I think people, uh, ordinary people have to move further and further out of London. And these places will be like uh, they'll be like ghettos. They'll be ghettos where wealthy people live. Uh, you know, and people will be pushed to move further and further out. Yeah. You know, but I don't think it's healthy that London attracts so much wealth. I think as a whole, the nation would be better off if cities like Manchester, Liverpool, Leeds, uh, you know, get a better share in uh, in what's going on. Because it's not healthy having everything focused in one in one city. Cosa ne pensi della rigenerazione di Elephant and Castle? Sarà una buona opportunità per i residenti e per gli studenti di trovare eh, posti di lavoro e comunque si, ci sarà una nuova una rigenerazione dei, degli edifici e della zona in generale. Elephant and Castle is going through a regeneration program. The famous shopping center will be home to students. It will be brought down soon. The LCC base will be brought down as well and a new cutting edge building will be done for, for LCC. This is part of the gentrification process which is going in London, is in action in London. Today we ask people how do they feel about this regeneration, what their concerns and their doubts about the future. Because we think that journalists' commitment is first to people.